Well, it was the final debate between Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump tonight. Let's get right to it. Our political analyst, Dr. Jim Twomley, joins me now. Jim, what were your big takeaways tonight? Well, I think there were three. First, that this was by far and away the most substantive, substantive debate of the three okay. uh, for president. And Chris Wallace has to be given uh, props. He did a very good job of trying to keep this one under control, both the audience and the candidates. Second, uh, Trump was somewhat more controlled than usual, although in the last hour, especially starting at around 9.30 or so, mm -hmm. you saw several points at which Hillary Clinton's answers got under his skin and he began to be typical Donald Trump. But he was able to rein it back in a, a little bit. Okay. Third, uh, Clinton wins on substance. Um, I think, uh, you know, anytime the debate is on substance, somebody who's got all that wealth of experience, as Trump likes to keep saying, 30 years, mm -hmm. is going to have that material right at her mental fingertips and be able to call upon it. And I think that means, really, that uh, she didn't hurt herself any. Um, Trump, I don't think, convinced anybody else, especially with his few out, uh, out uh, breaks there. Uh, but he did, I think, quell some of the fears of down-ballot Republicans and the Republican leadership by looking a bit more subdued and presidential, at least in the first half hour or so of the debate. And how do you think that is going to impact his campaign going forward? Well, I think it, uh, it will probably stop the bleeding in terms of Republicans who want to distance themselves from him, big-name Republicans, and uh, they're going to be a little bit more comfortable uh, not running away from him. Um, but other than that, I don't think uh, you're going to see that much movement uh, in the polls in his direction. Okay. Um, again, it might just be a slowing down of uh, the free fall that his polling numbers seem to be in. Do you think, do you think we're going to see any increases in Hillary Clinton's poll numbers after this? Um, again, while she didn't hurt herself, I don't know that necessarily she went beyond um, what, uh, what she needed to do. Uh, I think toward the very end, um, their closing comments, as it were, say something positive. Um, she was much more positive in her last minute uh, than Trump was. His started out with a negative about things she did, things that she did wrong. Um, so, you know, if people are paying attention to that, she may have come away with being the more positive person tonight, uh, and uh, that might convince a few voters. We're talking now about handfuls of voters. Okay. Not a whole lot of people left to be convinced. Now, this was the final debate. We're just a few weeks away from Election Day. What do both campaigns do from here? Well, typically, at this point, the campaigns are narrowing to a very few states um, where, you know, the typical battleground states, mm -hmm. and it usually comes down to Ohio and Florida, sometimes Pennsylvania. Well, Ohio and Florida are still in the mix, but suddenly this year we have this very odd circumstance where states that were never battlegrounds before are suddenly popping up as okay. marginal states, Georgia, Arizona, um, Utah. Uh, they're all now closing to within the margin of error, and the interesting thing will be to see if Hillary Clinton can reach out and grab one or two of those states in addition to her normal blue base. All right. And Dr. Jim Twomley, I understand that you are part of a uh, political night coming up. Can we tell the viewers a little bit more about that? Sure. It's uh, Political Pundit Night in the Twin Tiers, um, sponsored by my old boss, uh, Steve <laughs> Coleman, uh, from Elmira College. It's uh, it's at Mandeville Hall, 7.30 to 9 on Monday night, the 24th. Um, it'll be me, uh, Dr. Coleman, WENY uh, -E radio talk show host, Frank Acom, okay. uh, Jim Johnson, an attorney and Ithaca College professor, and George Winner. Um, we'll be there pontificating about the presidential election. All so right, come well, down, join us. Absolutely, and we'll put that information on our website for you guys. Dr. Jim Twombly, thank you so much. My pleasure.